So if you zoom in here, you see how they have to have a break water? Huge stones dumped in there and piled up in order to protect the beach from the force of the waves. So it's an artificial beach to a large degree. You look at these photos of sunsets, you look at the photos of the palm trees swaying in the wind on this white sand beach, but you zoom out and look how small that is compared to the entire coastline. And they have to have that breakwater in order to keep it going. When we look at islands, there are many categories and classes. There is one political category called Small Island Developing States, or SIDS, S-I-D-S. When a cyclone hits, there are no mountains to climb. And that's the United Nations designated group, which has come together because they feel that by pooling their ideas and resources, they can actually better address common challenges. The SIDS vary immensely. When we look at Papua New Guinea, PNG, its population and area are larger than New Zealand. But PNG has many characteristics of the SIDS. New Zealand is not part of the grouping. That extends all the way to places like Tuvalu in the Pacific, which is on the order of 26 square kilometers in land area and about 12,000 people, orders of magnitude less than PNG. Some are volcanic, like Montserrat. Others are more raised coral terraces, such as Barbados. And then Tuvalu Kiribati have many elements of coral atolls. When we look at disasters, which include climate change, the SIDS tend to have particular vulnerabilities as well as particular ways of dealing with those vulnerabilities. In terms of the vulnerabilities and related to climate change, the coastal aspect is clear. Much of climate change is going to impact the coasts. Sea level rise, changing wave patterns, changing current patterns, ocean acidification, and also death of coral reefs coral reef providing livelihoods, food, and also a significant amount of protection from the wild ocean. There is this image that the SIDS and the coastal places are to a large degree fragile. They're going to be broken. They're in trouble. They need outside help. Obviously, there is an element of truth in that. But there's also an element of truth that the islanders can help themselves. They want to help themselves. And to a large degree, they can do much better than we can. So we must to deal with the islanders, talk to them on their own terms, see what they want and how they can apply it, and give them the support that they ask for on their own terms.